Hey everybody, welcome to our new uh, Let's Play. Um, first of all, uh, if you notice, when we look at each other, we're still ducks, but on our own screen, we are not ducks for some reason. Uh, this, I think it's because Minecraft just updated, and uh, I don't know. We'll get it figured out for the next one, or hopefully we will. But at least when we look at each other, we're still ducks. Alright, so, this time, we are... Dylan, you and me have uh, got pretty familiar with our little city here. Yep. We haven't done a lot of work building yet, but, uh, you know, we know the area. But we don't really know what's in our world. And I think it's about time we found out. I agree. So we're going to go uh, for some exploration in this one. This building right here is new. This is the duck shop. This is where we can go from now on to uh, armor up for all of our stuff. Ooh. So all these chests are filled with stuff. Don't you, Just take what you need. Um, don't take, uh, you know, there, everything is split into two at least. So don't take both piles of cookies or steak or whatever. Just take, Just take one. And uh, if you come over to this chest real quick right over here, uh, this one, we get special swords. Um, I'll let you pick first. Our options are either Taco Bell or El Perro Guapo. Ooh. So you can pick whichever uh, those magical swords you want, and I'll take the other one. I'll they do. Both, uh, they're both pretty similar in effect. They're just slightly different. Uh, I like the sword of Taco Bell. All right. I'll take uh, El Perro Guapo. You know what uh, that means? Uh... No, I didn't. That's why I didn't take it. I know... I thought I knew what Guapo was, but uh, then I realized I didn't. It means the handsome dog. That's right. Okay, so real quick before we go, let me explain exactly what we're doing. So, Dylan, we, we want to see... We don't want to just want to see if there's grass nearby. We want to see if there's any cool things nearby. Correct. So, we are going to compete. Um, there are several things we're both going to be looking for, and each one is worth a certain amount of points. Whoever can get the most points is going to win. We're going to have the time limit of one hour, um, which uh, I'll tell you when we can go. But here's what we're looking for. You might want to jot these down if you got like a sticky pad or something. Um, there. Hold on. All right. Give me this okay. list. Okay, so what we're looking for is these are each worth one point, and they're one point each. So if you find a group of these, you can count uh, one point for each. Uh, horses. I can't wait to play this back and hear all your typing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wolves. And an ocelot, which is uh, just a, the wild cat. And for wolves and ocelots, if you choose to use the bones or raw fish to tame those, you will get uh, an extra point. Take some of that. All right. Um, for five points, and and this is a, this isn't like if you find multiple of these, it's fine. But uh, you can get a villages, a witch hut. Ooh, I can know this before. Temples, wells, or mines. And a mine isn't just like a hole in the ground. It'll actually have like a bunch of stuff underground. You'll probably know it if you see it. Uh, for 10 points, these are different uh, biomes, kind of like we have our, we're in the field right here. Yep. But if you find uh, the mesa, which is just all clay, it'll be like kind of red and orange. Okay. Uh, and ice spikes, which will be, you'll know ice spikes when you see it. It's pretty nuts looking. Uh, and then also dungeons, which you can find underground. Uh, those will be worth 10 points. And then finally, for 20 points, because we're probably not going to find these. I think I know uh, what it is. Strongholds. Okay. Or a mushroom island. What? I want a mushroom island. Uh, technically, it's, it's mushroom. Actually, I don't know if it's called mushroom island or mushroom island, but you'll find mushrooms on it, which is mushroom cows. But uh, so the, we're probably not going to find those. We probably won't find uh, a mesa either. Hopefully, we'll find some of this stuff. So, uh, yeah, just let me know anytime you find anything. And that's just the stuff that I jotted down. If you find anything else that you think looks super rare, let me know, and we'll uh, debate if, if we should be worth points. Okay. All right, Dylan, you ready to go? Uh, let me take a piss first. Okay. Got to go back where they do. Hey, everybody. Well, Dylan's got I'm going to show you a secret. Close, 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 close. Secret, secret, come on. What? What is this place? All right, let's, I? let's just journey begin. Uh, hang on, just a sec. I was uh, doing a quick little thing. Just a sec. Don't worry about where I am. All right, you ready to go? Yep. Okay, so Dylan, uh... Hang on, let me meet up with you. Where, where'd you go? I'm right outside the shop. 
Okay, I guess I shouldn't ask where you went. I'm the one who ran off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so come on outside. Okay, you're right there. Okay, so uh, I think we should head in different directions. So Dylan, uh, you don't have to stay in that direction, but what, what direction do you think you're going to start going? Uh, you remember where the warrior was the first thing? Yeah. I'm in that general area because there's something okay. specific I know is over there that I'm looking for. I'm assuming a Taurus. I thought you might it go is. that way. So I will go the exact opposite way to start out, okay. uh, which is down that way towards Howard. All right, so one hour is going to start now. We're starting right. before 6.30, so it's at right about 7.30. We'll stop. All right. All right, and you gotta remember, you got to let me know when you find anything so I can write it down. Okay, I got you. All right, let's go. Uh, just uh, in case anyone didn't catch, we are on survival, so uh, we can die. Hopefully we won't. That's why I gave us some armor and stuff because this one's not really meant to be too challenging. The challenge is really more finding stuff and kind of mapping out the, the places nearby. But uh, I, wanted, I didn't want it to be creative because that wouldn't be as fun um dylan what a uh you, i know you don't know everything that uh, we're gonna find because some of it you've never seen uh but what are you hope mo most hopeful to find yeah that's what i was gonna uh, say mushroom island because <laughs> that's also right <laughs> yeah those are cool those are definitely cool i've never heard of those before. um i've seen a couple of those the thing i'm most hopeful to find which i'm sure we won't find just because i've never found one myself is the mesa the mesa i don't think yeah. i've ever seen one yeah yeah they're extremely rare they're one of the most rare biomes but uh yeah because those are they're pretty new too mushrooms have been around for a long time so i've had the the chance to see them yeah i should say one of the reasons i give us some uh, uh like oh, saddles and stuff is if you if you find a horse uh you can ride it faster than you could walk so man my glam is glitching out so hard right now it's crazy is it really yeah <laughs> just with I got loading a, yeah i got over to the area i was like wait a minute this doesn't look familiar <laughs> yeah that that, all, that happens that happens to me all the time when I'm doing builds. Uh, is your are you still running? Yep. I got a weird mess. I got a weird warning on my server. Oh really? Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, Let me check the tab. You look fine. I look fine. Yeah. It just says warning, so hopefully it'll just go away. <laughs> <laughs> Ice spike yeah. sounds pretty cool. I wouldn't mind running into some of that. Ice spike's cool. I've seen one before. I, uh, once I started a world, and I think it was it was after I hadn't played Minecraft for like two years, and I didn't know about all the new stuff, and I just started a world, and I found Ice Spikes. I was like, oh, I don't know what this is, and I didn't realize how rare it was, but it was just like right next to my spawn. I feel like this is going to be really, really fun until it turns nighttime, and then we're just going to really hate it. Yeah, nighttime will be a little rough, but I mean, you, you took a bed, right? So if you want to, I guess you can build a shelter for the night. That's true. If we both do it and both sleep in it, then, uh... Uh-oh. What? <laughs> you still running? Yeah, why? Your, ser your server's still good. I don't know. I just I got a big long error message on my oh god screen. <laughs> I mean, it looks like things might have crashed, but apparently they didn't. If we're still both in the server, it's only a matter of time. Yeah. Yep. I assume it's there we because go. we're both. I'm gone now. Okay, I'll just we'll try to reboot it. Go ahead and try to jump back in. All right. Find anything yet, Dylan? Ah, uh... oh, dang it. <laughs> what? I, I was like, oh, what's this? Uh, it's the black rock. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Nothing, uh, nothing that new or exciting. All right, I found the ocean. So I'm God gonna, dang it! I'm gonna disconnect me again. Ah crap! I was wondering why I kept eating stuff and didn't do anything. I was wondering what was going on. Yeah, disconnect. Man, me. We're having so many problems today. Yeah, I like uh, restarting because I have my sword equipped. So just every time I sign in, it just says a pero cuapo. <laughs> oh crap! Now it didn't start me out exactly where I was either. Uh, luckily, I was too far off. Him. Okay, I'm gonna get in a boat. And uh, go for an adventure. I thought we both have uh, Hispanic swords of legend. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what I was. I thought. Oh, I'll do like cool uh, Spanish-sounding right. names for these. So I, I did mine, and I was like, what else is a cool Spanish-sounding name? Taco Ready to count this shit down? I what? One. Ready to count this down? Count what? I'll cut these points. One, two, three, four horses so far. Oh, you got four horses. Yep, four. Are they, other, uh, five, six, seven, eight, eight horses. Eight. Might be all the horses here. Actually. Oh, nope, nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. 
<laughs> oh, thank God that didn't kill me. Might have killed the horses, though. Okay, what are you up to, 12? I think I was at 12, yeah. Okay, is that all? Uh, there might be... Oh, nope, that's cow. Yep, 12. We'll say 12. Because I don't want to spend the whole time looking at horses. Even though there's a shit ton of them over here. Ah, oh, crap. I found a witch. Oh, oh really? Guys. Yeah, they throw potions at you that poison you. That sounds awful. It is. Question is, do I want a black horse or do I want a black and white horse? Go all black. I kind of like that idea. I'm afraid I'm going to lose it. <laughs> Put uh, some shiny armor on it. All right, horse. Oh, crap. Why is there an Enderman attacking me? No! What? This isn't fair. Dude. Why, how do you what? how do you what? tame this beast? What? what? Why is my spawn in lava? <laughs> That's not make any sense. Why is it spawning me in lava? Oh god dang it! This is terrible. Why would you do this to me? You keep spawning in lava like it won't let you out. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. What the hell? Apparently, with great horses comes great enemies, dude. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta try to respawn and then type. Oh my god, I might be leading this horse to his death. Sorry, horse. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, okay. I need to go sit a different spawn, that's for sure. Right, I don't horse. know why it was doing that. Actually, I have a theory. But, um, how, come, how come I can't put the saddle on the horse? What do I have to do? You have to tame it first. How do you do that? Uh, just keep trying to ride it over and over. And once some hearts appear, then it's uh, your horse. So I just keep throwing a saddle on it? or No, you just keep riding it. Uh, what's the, how to get on it? Right click. You can't do it with the saddle equipped. You'll, you just, you, I'm not uh, on the saddle, I'm, I'm just on a horse. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm not on the I horse. Mean, I mean, well, I mean, you don't keep right clicking. Like, just oh. right click it, ride it, it'll buck you off, get on again with right click. Oh, it's not even putting me on it, it just keeps bucking. Oh, uh, sometimes it bucks you faster, so. Oh, wait, is, just... this must be a witch, because it looks like a villager, and. Oh, well, God dang it. Uh, there's almost no way I'm gonna get back to all my stuff. Especially at friggin' night time. Ah, oh, come on. What are they- what, did we put it, like, on hard mode? Nah. I've never it's... ran to a witch before, and we both ran into a witch. Uh, there's always witches, we just don't- we're not out in the woods at night very much. Oh, I did find all my stuff. That was lucky. That was actually really close. Which is lucky that I found it, but it's bad for me because it means that I, I hadn't got very far. All right, is that everything? Crap, of course it wouldn't equip my sword. It put it in my inventory, and now there's enemies here that I need to fight, but I don't have my sword out. Thanks for that. Oh, okay. dang it. Did you die? Yep. Oh, was, man, that sucks. I had like a million... Oh, my... Great, I'm all the way back to the labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! El Perro Guapo is a good fighting sword. Oh, there's a witch here, too. There's no way I'm going to make it back there with any of my stuff. Uh, you, you've got, like, five minutes, so you might. Did I get... Oh. But I have no idea where I'm at in relation to that. And there's, like, a thousand enemies over here right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. At least the game hasn't crashed. That's true. Oh, what's my God. Near, what's near me? What is... Uh, st I hate little zombies. Go away. You're the worst. All right, what else? Uh, potato, I need potatoes down here. All right, and let's go and get torches down here. Okay, let's try this again. Good news is I leveled up. God dang it. I keep getting trapped by a creeper and there's nothing I can do about it. I did find a zombie holding a shovel. That makes it feel any better. It does make it feel better. Ugh. God dang it, no. Oh crap! I just want my stuff back. Oh god! Well, damn. so so far Dylan's still uh, very much in the lead with twelve points. I need to find something pretty major. Uh, my back. game froze now too. Oh, that sucks. All right. Uh, still found nothing. If you're wondering, at least you're winning. That's true. Despite but... all the bad luck you're having, you are still winning. But now I'm gonna, next night time's gonna be really hard because I'll have. Again, no weapons still. Well, you can go back to the shop, and there's still some armor and weapons there. Is there any more swords left, though? Yeah, there's a bunch of swords left. 
not enchanted ones like yeah. Taco Bell, but uh, rest in peace, uh, Taco Bell. There's the iron swords. How are these that? Are they iron or steel? I don't know. Either way, it's sword, sword. There's still more armor too. So very disappointing start so far. Hey, right, let me look at my map. See, uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, because I haven't had it out. It doesn't load if you haven't had it out. I have no idea where our village. I thought our village was pretty close to the labyrinth. Uh, it is. Uh, I must have just took a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah. Awesome. So I uh, saw Twelve Years a Slave. Oh yeah. Yep. Did you like it? Uh, yeah, it was really really good. I really liked it. Um, I, I don't think it would be my movie of the year, uh, even I just out of what was picked, uh, what was nominated. I really. I really liked it, but I think for me, Dallas Buyers Club, I liked it better. I still haven't seen that one. I need to do that. They're both they're both very depressing movies about uh, controversial things in the past of our history. But uh, yeah, I think uh, Dallas Buyers Club is more my style. But Twelve Years Slave was still really really good. It it suffered from something that I I don't know. This is something that's only a problem for like me maybe. I don't know if most people. Oh crap. Okay, I'm back in. Oh, uh, man, it restarted me, like, way far away from where I had got. That's cool. Oh, god dang it, me too. Thanks for that. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, 12 Years a Slave, uh, small problem I had with it was that it, it just, it has a lot of, like, really well-known actors in it. And for me, when you're watching, like, a historical recreation, and then, like, Brad Pitt shows up, it just kind of takes me out of it. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's, it's a little weird. And there's several times when that happens like i didn't really i didn't recognize the main guy i don't know if, if i've seen him in other movies uh, i've only seen him in one other movie okay it was well, for it, a film class so oh okay yeah that one didn't bother me and even uh michael fassbender's in it and that didn't bother me at all like they made him look pretty different and it, the way he acted like he, he did a really good job i couldn't really tell that was him but like there's so many other actors that you see and it's just like they look completely normal they look like themselves and it's like this is really weird i don't know why brad pitt's here all right so everybody uh, Dylan, let's head back to the shop and uh, you can get geared up again. All right. Here's what's going to happen. We're having a lot of technical issues. So that competition we just talked about, uh, I don't know. Okay, here's here's how we'll do it. Because we're pretty much going to have to stay together so that we're loading the same part of the world because the problem is it's, it's loading both of ours separately and the server can't handle that for some reason. So we're going to stay together. From now on, uh, you know, we're kind of walking in the same area. If you see something, whoever calls it out first gets the right. the credit. It's not going to be as fun that way. But Can we still say I technically won because I, I saw the horses? <laughs> sure. I don't care. I don't really care about winning. So that's fine with me. I'm, I'm back in uh, Survivor, yeah, yeah. so that way, yeah. All right. All right. You ready to head out? Yep. Let's do this. Okay. So um, let's head this way because none of us went this way before. We either went uh, east or west, I think, is the direction. So I don't know. All right. Um, I'm trying. To, uh, let me think. Let me oh, can I can actually talk about stuff now. Yeah. Let's let's do some uh, some conversation. Um, I uh, played a game. What game did you play this week? Uh, well, a certain video came out that made me realize I forgot to play this game. So I played uh, Stanley Parable. Oh, I played that before. Um, I really liked it. I thought it was it was great. The writing was really funny. However, I was a little disappointed with some of the length. Um. Just because I think it's it's something that if I would have played on my own with no expectations, I think it would have been fine. Mm -hmm. But everybody told me like, I mean not not everybody like you, but like all everything online said like, oh this game is so great because there's a million choices and for every single choice you do, there's a you know there's some kind of an outcome within the game, which seems true at first. But the more you play it, the more you realize. At first, it seems like there's a ton of options, but there really isn't that many. Um, have you ever been to the one that actually show, that gives you the museum of the game? Yep. That one's the most useful one because it kind of really does tell you everything you can get. I, re I really liked that one. Um, I liked all the endings. I just – people – because people – what I was expecting, people were even saying, oh, I did all this stuff to try to, like, break the game, but the game even was prepared for it and was, like, had stuff ready for, for that. And there really wasn't much you could do to try to break the yeah, game. Yeah, well, I was, when they say that, what, what did you – because I, I even looked up all the endings after I thought I'd found them all, and I did find most of them. But there is one where you, like, kind of get up on this desk and, like, jury rig your way through a window. And, like, you fall into this area that looks all broken. But then the narrator's like, I bet you thought that 
you broke the game, but or whatever. It's it's funny, but it's like that's the only time really. Yeah. So I was I was looking forward to a lot more like oh, I'm gonna go this way and try to like mess with this thing and yeah. try to do this, but it was kind of just as far as options, it was more like uh, this door or this door, and then there's different outcomes based on that. Yeah. And those those splinter off into even more things, which is cool. But I was really looking forward to a lot more like oh, you're gonna try to mess with stuff. Uh, Dylan, you you see anything off in the distance yet? Nope. Do you? Nope, sure don't. <laughs> Glad we picked this way to go. So, uh, speaking of things that never end, did you hear that Marvel stated they have a movie lineup for all the way up to two or twenty? Yeah, dude, I am stoked. Cause here's the thing: I love Marvel movies, I love superhero movies. I want to see them all. Sometimes I worry, cause I'm like, you know, I know that there's another Iron Man probably coming out. I know that Captain America just came out. I know that another Avengers coming out. I know that Guardians of the Galaxy is coming out. But that's just not enough. Nope. I don't know enough. I need to know. Everything for the next 14 years of my life, I need to know what movies are coming. Exactly. Out. exactly. And so now I, I know. Like, I can make a complete calendar and schedule and know everything to look forward to. And it's great because sometimes I'm worried that I'm getting too excited for one thing. And so I want to split my excitement so that I'm less excited for a bunch of things. And I can't focus on just one. I'm too distracted by a bunch. Well, what I want to know is, great. is there, are they doing Avengers 3? Uh, yeah, I hope so. I hope that's <laughs> planned. I mean, because I mean, if they have it all the way planned, sure, they better be doing Avengers three. Yeah, well, I'm hoping do you, Guardians do you of the Galaxy do, Black, do you ever think they'll do a Black Widow? Oh yeah, I mean, definitely. I, I, just, hope, I hope I hope they make everything. I hope they make a million of them. Uh, they can't make X Men or Spider Man or uh, Fantastic Four. That's one thing well, they maybe, can do. Uh, not yet, but maybe by uh, 2028 they'll have merged again. They'll merged? Maybe. Hey, I found yeah, a waterfall. I lost the shit out of you. Oh, did you? Did you get out of the forest? Uh, no. Um, hang on, I'm gonna try to. I'll just try to climb high. That's what I'm doing. Can... Oh man, climbing high is really climbing high where we are. Uh, hang on, I'm in some kind of weird uh, over thing. I don't know what this is. Uh, crap. crap. Um, uh, apparently, I'm mining with a potato. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna have to dig up because I can't walk that way. I hear a pig, but I don't know where there's a pig on this mountain. Um, but anyways, sarcasm aside, yeah, I, I don't, you know, stop. Just they, I like cool. how they announced it as if that was like exciting and being like, oh my god, that sounds. I know there's people are excited about. It. I'm just like, oh, that sounds yeah. horrible. Yeah, I just, I mean, like like I said, non sarcastically now. You need to you need to let people get excited for one thing. If there's a million things coming, it's the same way I've always felt about Pixar, and they're like five years in advance. People can't get that excited that far ahead. Like I need to know, oh, this one thing's coming out. When you're yeah. like, oh, here's our next ten movies. What am I supposed to be excited for? I can't be excited for all of them. Exactly. Because that's just, I, and when you announce stuff that early too, by the time it comes out, I've spent ten years looking forward to it. I don't care anymore. Yeah. Uh, the and, excitement of hearing about it is lost. And then there's no way it's going to live up to, like, what you expected it to be. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, I mean, way too long. Anything that's, yeah, announced and hyped that long is, is horrible. Nobody cares about it. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Are you fighting an Enderman? Dude, dude what the f***? That's an Enderman. <laughs> I've, I've been, I've killed an Enderman before. I've never seen it happen before. Uh, yeah, he's teleporting around. Is yeah. he mad at you? He's not uh, killing me, but it's the scariest okay, thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't see him anymore, so let's move on. Okay. Yeah, still, he's over this way. That is terrifyingly creepy. Yeah, those things are something else. It just looks, it looks like a glitch in the system. Hang on. Okay, day. Oh, uh, this sucks, because daytime's going to happen. At least monsters won't keep spawning, but it's raining, so they're not going to burn up. Oh, yeah. That thing. All right, well, let's start heading up. Yeah, let me eat real quick. Okay. Um, so, uh... Oh, god dang it. Ah, spider. Um, a bunch of Smash Brothers news came out. Yes, that's the one thing I was going to talk about, too, on my list. What, what, what do you think? Um, a bunch of what you expect to announce, and then one thing I thought was a cool surprise that I'd like. That, yeah. is, that is my opinion. Uh, the Samus being announced, not a surprise. Sheik being announced, not a surprise. 
Yoshi, not really a surprise. But uh, Greninja, I thought, was pretty cool. Yeah. See, um, how I feel about everything that was announced is I don't care about any of it. It's cool announcements. Hold on, I lost you. On audio? No. Or in the game? On oh. video, I don't know where you're at. Oh, okay. I'm on top of the uh, mountain, but I don't see you. You're where? I'm on top of the mountain, but I don't see you. Oh, I'm not this one across here. Where? Like, you're straight. I should be straight where you're looking, just on... Uh, oh, there you are. I just can see the snow. Um, I think the announcements are cool, but there's they're not really announcements in my opinion. They're like li they're just such little things. And well, especially I think they made such a big deal out of this one. And I was yeah, just like, well, you I, I I think that the, well, my here's my biggest problem with it is, I think that this is like it. This is these are the announcements. I think that we've seen what the game is now. Yeah, and right, this right. is as much as they're going to announce. I think there's going to be like a couple little things, like you know, a couple more assist trophies, maybe another character or two. And I think that's it. I think we've. we've you really seen think this is all the characters they have? This seems like just a, still such a small roster. Uh, it's it's about thirty now. Is it? Yep. Oh man. I think that's probably about it. Well, this I roster think... sucks so far, then, in my opinion. Yeah, me too. And th that's why everybody's getting really excited about this. But I don't feel like they announced anything to be that excited. Again, I I agree. Sheik being separate. That's yes, cool. that was something I I, I couldn't tell because they weren't really. I didn't watch the uh, keynote thing and I didn't hear about it. So the website's not very vague on that. But yeah. I think sub zero suit and then being their own thing, I, I'm I do like that. It's cool, but like, not shocking. That, like that not didn't cool. sell me on the game. Oh, and people no. are people are talking about these new announcements. It's I think my biggest worry is it reminds me of what happened with Pokemon X. A bunch of stuff keeps 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 getting announced. It's like little stuff that doesn't matter, and people are getting like stoked for it. Like, whoa, can you believe they added this thing? And it's like, yeah, but that doesn't matter to the game. That's just yeah. a little thing. Let's swim across here. Like, hey, you can uh, you can cut your poodle's hair. Yeah, I, I mean, that was a literal announcement for Pokemon. Like, yeah. announce that the game is going to be good. Don't announce these little crappy things. And that's what's happening with Smash Brothers now is we're getting all these announcements that are cool, but, hey, is the game going to be good? And I think the problem is their attitude is like, well, it's Smash Brothers. Of course you're going to love it. Yeah, but no. I don't know if the game's going to be bad, though, because while there was things that kind of changed with Pokemon, because the thing with Smash Brothers is it's still going to be a beat-em-up for all game. There's not a whole lot you can change. I, I'm not saying the game will be bad. I just does nobody remember that we got everybody got really excited over Brawl and it wasn't bad, but it wasn't worth getting that excited about. Yeah, see, here's what I think the thing with the Brawl is too is one they added that trip thing, which makes no sense. But also, I don't think anybody liked playing on those remotes. So yeah, I don't I don't think that has anything to do with it though. The game just wasn't as good as people thought it was gonna be. Really, and I now every, everyone's letting themselves get really hyped up over this, and I think it'll still come out. I still think it'll be fun, but. Calm down. Like, the yeah. internet's, like, freaking out about all these announcements, and they're not really that cool. No, I mean, it's nothing different. I mean, it's, I don't know, it's still it's still the same game. It's still Smash yeah. Bros. Yeah, exactly. If, if people are excited because they like Smash Bros., they want to play new Smash Bros., that's fine. Stop acting like these announcements are, like, new, changing new the game. stuff, yeah. Well, just, I have not yeah. seen anything new about it yet so far. That That's my problem with it. Again, it's the same thing as Pokemon. People keep acting like all these new announcements are going to change the game, but then the game comes out, and it's just what we always have played, and, and then all, all that hype was for nothing because it's just another one. Four horses, fun horses. Yeah. I called. I called it. It doesn't look like it's gonna be as many as you found. I see three. But uh, uh, you got a saddle. Uh, I do. All right, we should uh, tame some horses and ride around. I call this brown one. Does he have white legs? This is the weirdest looking horse. Okay, come back. See how do you get hey. on him so easily? Just click him. I just always buck. Uh, my, my, oh, he's running off. Okay. Let me, nope. Whoops. I attacked it. Come on. Yes, this horse loves me now. I'm going to put a saddle on him. Uh, oh, my saddle's already in my thing. Come back, horse. Do I have to have, like, nothing equipped or something? Uh, I don't know. There we go. Yeah, can't have anything equipped. Let me get on your horse. I'm going to name him. What should I name my horse? Do I have to be off him to name him? I don't remember. Uh, don't I click this? Okay, well, apparently I don't know how to name this horse. So I'm just going to name him whatever. Okay, you good? No, I still got to tame it. Oh, okay. Sometimes it takes a while. I'll just watch. 
That's weird. The uh, oh, it's because I'm in survival, not creative. Now, if we could just find a temple, we could probably find some armor for our horses. I got. How, what do the hearts look like? The horses? Yeah. I guess they look like these weird little, I don't know, muffins? Oh. Well, I guess I had them right away. He just... I didn't tell. Look like, uh... Look like horse butts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it kind of does. Alright. Alright, now you can put a saddle on him and then, uh, Oops. ride him for real. Here's what we're gonna do. We can make um, it a two-parter. We could, I guess. But, uh... I wanna, I wanna find something before uh, we end it so we can call it good. So, uh, we're gonna, we can look a lot faster and creative. So, uh, what is attacking me? I have a zombie. I killed it for you. There's no, there's still one here. Oh. So jump into creative. I'll show you something really funny. Even if we don't find anything, this is really funny. Okay, so get off your horse and then, uh, get some, uh, leads out. Get some what? Some leads. Oh, okay. I have some extra if you don't have any. Uh, I'm pretty sure I brought one. And then Oops, just right, right, cl right click it to your horse. This is so that your horse doesn't walk away. Oh, but now I'm in creator mode, so I don't have it on my thing. Here. Thanks. Um, oh, crap. What did I do with it? Uh, it probably went to your inventory. You just click on the little chest in the right corner and it shows oh, you what you have. Oh, there we go. Okay, yep. Yeah, so, there we go. That's what, something I did not know. So uh, you can use this so that, like I said, your horse stays with you because it won't follow you by itself. But now with yeah. leads, it will. But I found out something last night when I was exploring on a, a custom. Game I hope it's what I think. I think it was what I think it is. Um, if you go into survival and you fly up, yes, I was your horse I was flies like, with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Although sometimes it'll just randomly fall to the ground and sometimes to its death. It's but like it's a, the funniest thing. It's kind of like a yo-yo yo with a horse. Horse. The what? It's kind of like a yo-yo with a horse. Yeah, it reminds me of in Peter Pan. Uh, when they're, they have the dog that tries to fly off. Oh, him, yeah. But he's stuck on his doghouse. He's got, like, the, the cable or the leash or whatever. Okay. Uh, we need to find... Oh, here. We need to fly this way. We're going to head back towards the village and see if we can find anything on the way back. Okay. Hopefully we will. Um, so I thought of a, a hypothetical question I thought we could, we could do. Okay. Um, a lot of times on Reddit I see really cool, uh hypothetical questions that people will talk about i don't remember if i saw this one on there or if that's where i got the idea i can't remember where i got this but i was thinking you and me we're both uh really into music um if if somebody had never heard music before and they were gonna listen to music for the very first time what album would you tell them to listen to um uh, did i lose my horse yep <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Where did he go? Oh, that might be it for my horse. <laughs> I was kind of high. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, it happens. Probably uh, ICP, The Great Malenko. That's like, a good one. Anything like by ICP is probably going to work out well. That's the only album I can remember. Where'd you go? Uh, I'm, I'm flying this way. Uh, where'd you go? I don't know. Why it's somewhere? Dang it. <laughs> uh, oh, I see you. Did you lose your horse too? Nope. Oh, no, I still got him. Yeah, I haven't named him yet. You. This looks like <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh my god, I'm so glad I got the shot. All right, let's go this way. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um. If I was going to seriously think of something, I maybe something by the Beatles? I don't know. I guess it's pretty good. I feel like, I, oh, shit. There we go. Caught myself. But I lost, <laughs> lost my horse, maybe. Did I? Yep. Nice. Oh, don't worry. Coming for you. Coming for your horse. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Did they die if they land? Uh, if they fall far enough, they will. Uh, well, I picked up horse meat, so. <laughs> 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 I got yeah. what's left of my horse. <laughs> <laughs> not looking good. Yeah, you can, you can still carry it back. <laughs> Uh, what should our big finish be, Dylan? What's the finale going to be? What <laughs> could we finish this with? <laughs> um, finding something would be great, but we're already back at Duckburg, I think. I think we're about almost over the labyrinth. Yeah, I can see a mushroom over there. God, if only I found a mushroom, I just would have been... That would have been really cool. Hey, there's this. There's this right here. Is what? this impressive enough? Just a floating thing. Huh? Wait, what is this? Is this something I'm not supposed to find yet? What? This thing? What thing? This area I'm at. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Can I come here? Yeah. For real? Yeah, you can go in there. You won't die, but you wish you had. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> <laughs> If you if you would have fallen in there on survival, uh, it goes forever. Cause you fall so slowly through your web. <laughs> <laughs> It'd probably take hours to fall, cause it goes all the way down to the bottom of the world. Dude, when did you build this? <laughs> uh, when I was building a labyrinth, I was bored, so I was, it was when I was experimenting with web, and I was like, wonder how long it would take to fall to the bottom of the world, and I built it, and I was like, well, I'll just leave it here. Well, I made it. You fell out of the world. <laughs> uh -oh, I did too. I fell too far. I went to. Hang on. I can get back. I can get back. I made it. I'm back. I'm gonna plug that up. I was gonna stick in this world anyways. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess that'll. Uh, uh, can I not put sponge here? I want to sponge this hole up. Why can't I play sponge? Let me sponge this hole. <laughs> I see a cow stuck in a tree over here. <laughs> Where? <laughs> By the labyrinth. I spawned over the labyrinth again. Oh, uh, nice. All right, uh, I guess that's going to call it in for our video. At least we had some kind of finale. It's true. Good thing I found um, it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Later, bozos. Hey, guys, we're back. <laughs> uh, we're going we're gonna to add a building to, to Duckburg real quick because uh, we want to do some enchanting. So, uh, Dylan, where do you want to put it? It's, it's going to be like a library. I like a library? Yeah. Uh, we could put it. I can't really tell you where to put things because my map is different than your map right now. Oh, I see a gold room over here. Uh, did I have a gold room? Oh, I think I'm trying to I know. I must have. Oh, maybe you're seeing... I think I might know what you're seeing. I don't know. I have so many secret rooms, it's hard to keep track of them all. <laughs> I've been building a bunch. It's really hard to keep my attention focused, because every time I try and do something, there's like, oh, look, I can see through the world. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, back to where we're talking. Okay, Let's so... See. We have a nice little area right across from... Uh, the shop we could do. Um. Yeah, I was thinking though, because you said you wanted to build a uh, town hall. I was thinking that would be where that goes. Eventually. Oh yeah, good idea. Good idea. And then um, right here in front of our houses, I think that's where the community pool will go. Oh, perfect. So it's maybe behind my house somewhere, like kind of over here in this area, maybe. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So um. Let's see. Let's build. Let's uh. Get some dirt. And just, uh, oh, dang, there's a torch there. We'll just, um, Oops. it doesn't need to be that big. So we'll just, this space right here. Okay. Oops. So just, uh, what, what should we use for, uh, what, what do we want to make the building out of? Uh, what would be very, kind of something rustic or cool looking, because, you know, it's supposed to be like an old ancient library. Yeah. Um. Whoops. <laughs> I keep destroying your dirt clods. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, this isn't going to be very big. I guess it doesn't need to be very big. But it's okay. We don't want to spend too long building it. Let me look here. Let's use, uh... Hmm. We're going to expand later, too, if we ever need to. Yeah, that's true. Um... I don't know. You can pick what to build it out of. Okay. Let me check. Take I don't care. Let me take a gander. Gander Mountain? Gander Mountain. You ever go into a Gander Mountain? I haven't. It's not very great. Because you ex I think, well, I don't know what you'd expect. I expected, like, kind of Cabela's mm -hmm. quality. Maybe Bass Pro Shop. Not anywhere near that. I like those places. Bass Pro's pretty cool. Yeah. Have you been to the Cabela's here in Wichita that opened? Uh, Yes, I did, actually. I went there before I went to your house one time. Kind of sucks. Yeah, that's right. I got my slippers I'm wearing right now there. You wear slippers? Yeah. I don't wear slippers. I don't like... I don't like going barefoot in my house. That's what socks are for, dog. Yeah, but my socks are always dirty. I hate socks. Socks are for No, man. Socks are where it's at. I hate socks. I never I had to... Hate... What? Why do you hate socks? Socks keep your feet warm. Dude. Shoes keep your feet warm. If I never had to wear socks, I wouldn't. Because they, they get sweaty and then, like, annoying, and I don't know. Yeah. I'm not a sock guy. Never been a sock guy. Let's see here. I don't what like. You, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see if I like that thing, but I did. Did not like what I was using. It's too much pressure. I can't handle the pressure. Okay. This not too bad. I think we should use uh like glowstone to light up the library. Okay. 
Because we've used torches for like every other building. Let's make this one a, a little more unique. So we'll have it probably just be up in the ceiling. Ceiling of glowstone. Wait, this book. Oh, Oops. never mind. Oops. <laughs> I feel like it needs to be like almost intimidatingly tall. That would be cool. And then just not have that much in it. Exactly. <laughs> this is kind of like a... Since we got two things inside, it's kind of like when a couple puts in his and her sinks. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll fill in the, the roof, too, because I don't want to leave it open. Oh, we have to light up the roof, too, otherwise crap will spawn on top of it. What are you going to enchant? This diamond sword. Nice. What are you going to name it? Taco Bell 2? <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> Trying to think of another Taco Bell joke. Crunchwrap? Uh, Crunchwrap Supreme. What's your name, Bo? The AM Crutch Wrap. Oh, nice. I want to do something more Spanish, but I can't think of anything. What's a good Spanish thing? A Spanish fly. Ooh, that's a good one. Whatever. That'd be good for the bow, actually. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to What'd you do to me? <laughs> <laughs> this joke took so long to <laughs> I'm just been sitting here waiting. <laughs> oh man. How's it going? Ben, I can see you, but I can't see where I'm at. <laughs> do you know what I did? No. <laughs> did you do am I like underground? No. You're still at the end though. It's so hard to see your name. Oh, there you are. I can see yours pretty well. <laughs> you built a thing around it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> you are standing there for so long. Wish I had to. All right, you want me to show you a secret real quick? Yeah. Okay, where are you at? I, don't know, I was at my house, but no, I'm leaving. Okay, well, we'll end the, the build part of the Let's Play on this. All right, I'm going to show you one of my secret rooms. You ready for this? Yep. This one, uh, I got the idea. I saw this online because I... I never thought to build a secret room like this. Follow me. Wait, how do I follow you? You gotta go in that one block that I dropped down in. It's the one that like sticks out. Okay, I see it. There you go. It drops down, it covers up into water. Can't get in the water though. Uh, you're standing on the door. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the trap door holds up the water, and then uh. Oh room, wow! Secret room. This is awesome. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you had to go through like hell just to get into this room, and then this is just hell. What hell? <laughs> yep. Oh <laughs> uh, yep. That's awesome. Best part. There's no way out. Oh sh. God dang it. I knew I should have got in first. <laughs> You're on creative, so it's not really that big of a deal. Here, I'll open the door for you. But, uh, yeah. There it is. One of my secret rooms. I uh, Most of my secret rooms actually have useful stuff in them, but I kind of ran out of like useful stuff to put in rooms, so I had to make a couple that were just crazy. There you go. That's really awesome. Uh, 
Uh, you should leave your server open sometime so we do some crazy shit. All right. I'm, wor I'm worried that uh, you're going to try to build secret rooms then accidentally find my secret <laughs> rooms. <laughs> Dude, that's the worst you have to take. Yeah, I guess so. All right, everybody. Bye. Later, guys. Oh, I didn't say bozos. Later, bozos.